The Lord has shown you what is good. He has told you what He requires of you. You must treat people fairly. You must love others faithfully. You must be careful to live the way God wants you to. Micah 6, 8. Walking with God, Micah 6, 8. Jesus shows us what is good. Jesus tells us what is good. We should treat others fairly. We should love others faithfully. And we should always be intentional and live like Jesus. Now for a story about a cat who does not live like Jesus. Bella, the Bossy Beauty by Anna Lynn Nelson. Atop a green grassy hill, the second highest in the county, lives a grumpy frumpy kitty by the name of Bella Bossy. She's a feather-weighted furball, well-groomed, orange and cream tabby. Tis a large feline population on this farm, but few as proud as this long-haired kitty. There's Cheddar and Clover, Olaf and Rosie, Max, Leo, and the recently departed Izzy. The barn cats, Jude, Gale, and Maddie. Then the originals, Charlotte and Bella Bossy. The batches of kittens too numerous to name. Otis, Penelope, Mozzarella, the infamous Ralphie, and even James. The farm awakens each and every day with chatter, breath, animals, and love. Each critter and human working, playing, eating, and sleeping, this farm has a constant buzz. From the first morning dew till the evening freckled sky, God's goodness, grace, freedom, joy, innocence, and love come alive. Yet atop a high and lofty perch, or scowling in a wicker basket, there is a grumpy, frumpy kitty by the name of Bella Bossy. Some may find her critical, nitpicky, fault-finding, and fussy, she is boastfully beautiful, quite naughty, and rather haughty. Bella dares not play. She would never dart, dash, or bolt. Those actions are inferior. She'd rather snarl, moan, or gloat. Bella judges the panting, drooling, and heavy-breathing pups. She has deemed them harebrained, mannerless, clumsy as an ox. Bella scoffs and judges, discriminates and disapproves, why can't all those other animals leave? Better yet, why don't they just move? Bella has an opinion, rather uppity and snobbish. She finds the other cats, dogs, goats, and chickens as good as old rubbish. But Bella's not a ruffian, a rascal, or an instigator. She wouldn't dare fight or say mean things. She's a self-lover, not a hater. She simply judges, ignores, scowls, and pretends. She's discreetly snooty. She doesn't mean to outwardly offend. She slowly turns her head away. After all, Bella's better than you. She's just mocking you in her mind. But have you ever done this too? We aren't created to judge, act snooty, brag, or be a bossy Bella. Rather, we are encouraged to go forth, have grace, forgive, and love one another. Embody the joy and ever-flowing grace of drooly pups or silly kittens, the inquisitive bellering goats, and even the roaming chickens. Remember, each and every day, you have an important choice to make. Be like the love-filled animals on the green grassy hill who choose to give life and not just take.